In this video, you are going to learn how to add real-time reflections to any floor in your model. Unlike the previous guides which taught how to add fake reflections, this guide teaches how to use the GTA mirror property found in call zones. This mirror property can be set in call zones, and apart from reflecting objects, it also reflects players. Unfortunately, MTA does not support custom call zones at the time of making this video, and so I will not show how to create custom call zones, but only how to move your interior into an existing call zone so that it will inherit the mirror effects. If you are modding single player, then you can create your own call zone by modifying your IPL file. If you're on version 2021 or above, for GTA materials to work, set to max legacy and restart 3DS Max. To get started, load your interior model into 3 Decisions Max. I will be working with the interior from Lil Probin, which is a bar. This interior already exists in GTA, but we need to edit some parameters in the model to support reflections in-game. We also need to import a model which the binary IPL importer missed. I already have the XYZ coordinates thanks to having previously decompiled the game's IPL files. An easy way to find existing mirrors in the game is to load in call zones from the game files using Deniska's scripts. Because only interiors support mirrors, we can isolate just the floating call zones in the air. Call zones that has the mirror attribute will work in-game. But for our case, the mirror axis needs to point to the floor. I have already found a large call zone that meets our criteria. Next up, relocate the interior to be within the call zone. Because we want our floor to have the mirror effect, the floor should be close to the bottom of the call zone, but it is fine to offset it a little. For the mirror effect to show, we need to make the floor materials transparent. If you need to test the reflection strength, try adding mirror modifier to some of your interior objects.
export the IPL mapping. It's import that you select only the parent objects in the hierarchy. In order to remove the original interior located at the mirror cull zone, we need to use this Lua code. Export to DFF. Because we haven't modified the collisions or textures, the only file that we need to change is the DFF, and of course we need to load our Lua map file in MTA.